I thought it was nigh time you arrived. I'm Nobutomo Odani, the man you've been looking for. I see. So, you've bested Hachiro and Toranosuke, I surmise. Hmm. You have a fearsome look, indeed. Hmm. Humility is a virtue. Even among those who write their names in history's pages, fortune favors the humble, while arrogance invites only misfortune. Enough talk. It's time you showed me how well you handle the blade. Oh, ho I look forward to a display of your prowess, young one. Strike me then. Don't be shy. to be the real deal. Oh. Oh, you're a sharp one. Not many would have noticed that. The truth is, I've already begun my service to the Shogunate at Kaishu's request. As an instructor to any swordsman he can gather. Sorry for keeping that quiet. I planned to turn him down as I didn't want to neglect my dojo. But the chance to train someone like you... How could I say no? I suppose I'll be giving my all to this new role. <laughs> no need to thank me. Well... In any case, I'll do what I can. Rest assured, you are in safe hands now. <laughs> Good day. I did a fine job of embarrassing myself last time, didn't I? I've intensified my training regimen now. I won't lose next time. Sana's always been like that when it comes to swordsmanship. She gets so engrossed in practicing, she's up all hours, missing meals, the whole hog. I take my training seriously. What's wrong with that? If I want to wed Yoma one day, I'll need to do my utmost in preparation. She's not one to back down from her words, either. I'm just worried she'll hurt herself one day, working so hard. I don't quite follow. What is it you think I should do? Yo Yoshimura? Uh, I suppose the geisha are rich in experience. Perhaps I could gain some insight into the walkings of dear Ryoma's heart. Please, you have to take me to Yoshimura. I need to speak to someone vast in romance. I'm unsure how I feel about my darling niece being taken to Yoshiwara. But perhaps it's an opportunity for her to see the world a little. Yes! Now I have my uncle's blessing. You'll really take me to Yoshiwara, won't you? Thank you! Then we can meet once we're both ready. Oh, <laughs> 
How about it? Beat us in a fight and we'll give you a fine reward. There's a fee, of course, but it ain't much. Just let me know when you're ready. Alright, let's really make a show of it! I'll be happy to give you a generous discount. Who are you? Why are you here? I wouldn't go that far. But I do indeed practice Western medicine. I see we share the same goal. But unfortunately, now is not the time. Katsu? Ah, oh, the Shogun's man. Uh, but look, I need to attend to my own business before we can talk. They sent me a threat this morning. They're planning an attack. But I can't just turn my back and flee. I have to protect my lab. Truly? Okay, please. That's wonderful news. They're planning to strike when the sun sets. Are you ready? The gates are blockaded, so it will take time for them to get in, which means they'll likely approach from the rear. I'm counting on you, but please take care of yourself. They're here. Whatever it takes, we can't let them destroy the lab. There are jars of poison in the garden. Try throwing them out. Come <laughs> on. 
That's enough for today, I think. I'll be going. <sighs> Thank you so much. I am truly grateful to you. Now I can finally go back to studying cures for cholera. Could I ask another favor? Would you be so kind as to track down Dr. Narasaki. He was rounded up during the recent purge, and he's still in custody. I heard he had just come up with a concoction that eased the symptoms of cholera. I have my work cut out rebuilding this medical facility. In the meantime, I would very much like you to speak to him for me. Please do this for me. And if ever you need anything, you know where to find me. <laughs>